For decades, Tasmania's education department shielded child sexual abusers, shuffling them between schools. I share the secretary of the department's uh, deep sorrow and regret. And investigations found student complaints were ignored or not believed. The department instead prioritised its reputation and focused on protecting itself legally and financially. We found it disturbing that as concerns piled up, serial abusers were not just allowed to keep teaching for decades, but department leaders so willfully disregarded the obvious risks and harms. We need to do better by our young people. The inquiry found there was significant uncertainty among school staff over when police should be called. Department officials acted at odds with community expectations and there's a lack of proper complaints records. Survivors from a number of schools are now pursuing legal recourse. The culture of institutional inertia or a sense of nothing has been done, I think that gives birth to a, a real unique type of trauma within the abuse survivor. The stories and experiences that have come to light are deeply disturbing and confronting. The government's accepted all 20 recommendations. The inquiry that's been handed down today is very distressing and concerning and we need to make sure that those recommendations are not just accepted by the government but are acted upon swiftly and urgently. This should be an absolute priority of the Department of Education and you know parents need to know that this is the number one priority of the department in keeping their children safe. The full report's been handed to Tasmania's Commission of Inquiry into Child Sexual Abuse. Alexandra Humphreys, ABC News.